Right then, uh, let's get on with some writing this time. And here's an app for writing that you don't need, that you can do perfectly well without. And actually, which costs $60 to buy new. But the thing is, you're going to want it. You will write more because of it. And I think it's truly excellent. I sound like I'm selling it. Okay, I think I'm selling it. Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write, obviously, on Macs and iPhones and iPads. I don't mean we write, obviously. Yeah, you know what I mean. Do subscribe because, I mean, as ever, there's so much to talk about in this and it always puts off writing. Actually, there's also so much to write about, isn't there? And we do need to be doing some more of that. So, short version, you can write blogs in an app called Mars Edit and particularly in its new version 5. That'll do. Skip the rest of me talking. Go to redsweater.com. Uh, get the trial version, if you like, or just go straight ahead and buy the app. Knock yourself out. Okay. Good talking to you. Thanks for... Okay. You gathered, right, that I like this app. I really do. And I, I'm using it, and I am most certainly recommending it. But two things. First, I have written at least 700 blog posts without Mars Edit. There's no question you can write blogs online in WordPress or Squarespace or anywhere you like. You can write it in them. You do not need some separate app on your Mac. And secondly, well, I think you could, I'm, I sound a bit doubtful now, but you've heard bits of enthusiasm. I was just about equally as enthused when Mars Edit was back on... Um, version 3, maybe possibly even version 2. I used it extensively and then I stopped using it until the new Mars Edit 5. So, you know, there's got to be a reason for that. It's a small one. Anyway, to it, let me show you, rather than just keep talking, let me show you with a flashback to last week. I write a blog, was it before? I write a blog called Self Distract that goes out on Friday mornings and I usually write it on Friday mornings. I feel like I'm writing to you then, I do that. But what with one thing or another, the wind being in the east, Christmas being around, for once, whenever I did this one, I did it on the Thursday night, no, Thursday morning even, and I wrote it in Mars Edit. Wrote it there, set the date and time I wanted it posted out on my blog, added an image, done. Now, I want to show you some of that in slow motion, but first, flash further back, this is a bit of a reconstruction, actually, because I didn't know I was going to be doing this. I didn't know, actually, that I was going to be totally changing how I write blog posts. Previously on Self Distract, I would go to my site, log into WordPress, get told seven to eight times that I have entered the wrong capture. Then within that page on that site, go to the specific Self Distract site, then to post, then create new, then write, then pop through the different sections. And honestly, Hardly ever bothered with an image because it was one more thing to do. Yeah, I don't know. Now, Mars Edit and the slow motion thing. Did you see it? Yeah. No logging in to my WordPress blog site at all. No capture. Just opening a new document, writing a blog, like I would do with a chapter of a book in pages or a scene in a script in Scrivener or final draft, new, open, write, done. I know you see that's better, but then when you actually do it, it has this unexpected extra effect. Because it's so simple, you do it and you do it more. With self distract for example, when I, I still prefer to write it on Friday mornings. That feels like part of it. But if I have an idea, for example, well, I'll pop it in early whenever I've entered my head. And each time, and say there's a new 58 Keys video, like this, well, I've not mentioned this before, but there is also a blog post that just includes it. It's another place to find some links for it. It's handy. Or rather, there is now. I've tended to slip a bit on that one. But now I don't because of Mars Edit 5. We finished talking, I entered, and it's gone. Mars Edit, well, it connects to my WordPress site and it connects to other blogging services. I mean, so many I've, I've never even heard of. But it also, it does so the first time you open the app and it does so very quickly. It was quicker to set up Mars Edit to post on my entire blog than it is to log into WordPress each week. And then there's this. I still don't know what I'll use it for yet, but I like it. And it's this, this is a list of the latest blog posts I've written. 
whether I wrote them in Mars Edit or not, and actually there's more to it, it's actually a list of all 750 odd posts, or and some of them not odd, in Self Destruct. I mean, I'm considering taking them all out of Mars Edit and maybe making some books. I mean, just for myself, I'm going to sell them, just have a nice collection of them. And then also there's this. I've been at this too long, right? This is a fact. I know that when you are writing online directly in WordPress or anywhere, when you're typing straight into a website live on the internet, there are things that can go wrong. And so they do. The site can go down. Nobody's fault, but it can. Your internet connection can go down too. And I did think this one was solved. But two people I know got caught out by this uh, just two weeks ago now, just in the end of last month. If you are writing away in a form on a website and you're several hundred words into it, you think you're being busily active, but the site does not. Because as far as the site is concerned, you're not doing anything. Because you're not sending any of that typing back to it. I mean, you know, deliberately, you don't intend to. You're going to write what you write and you're going to save it, hopefully at some point, at least when you get to the end. But all the time you're typing then, the connection's on, on in the site, so nothing going on. It, and it can, therefore, and it did for these two people, therefore, time out. The site dropped the connection through what it considered inactivity, and those two writers lost all their work. Now, that actually used to be really common, and I'm surprised it's still happening, but it does. I suppose also you can argue they should have, we should all need to save our writing more often, but online form, yeah, maybe it doesn't lend. It's, this thing happens, except when you're using something like Mars Edit. It can't, because Mars Edit is an app that runs locally. It's on your Mac, it's not online, which is another reason I was keen to try this. Last month, I was going on holiday. Well, I thought it was going on holiday. Long story, tedious story. Um, yeah, uh, I knew that where I was going, right, I would have, at the very best, limited internet connection. It was going to be slow, and it would only be at certain times. Plus, I was going to be in Europe. I, I'm based in the UK. We have Brexit. So, naturally, my internet, my phone bill, if I went to the EU, it's dramatically higher than it should be and used to be until we decided to... I can't, I truly cannot afford to either stay online on the iPhone in across Europe or worse, to tether my iPad or my Mac through the iPhone. Not unless I want to spend the cost of the flight again. So Mars Edit meant that I could spend all the time I want writing a blog, spend the whole day working on it, but use only moments, seconds to kind of squirt it out from my Mac to my blog and done. Except. This is actually why I stopped using Mars Edit around version two or three. I'm not quite sure when it was now. I didn't have a MacBook back then. I had a Mac in my office and I have an iPad that I traveled with. And there is no iPad or iPhone version of Mars Edit. Or there isn't going to be either. So no plans at present. Now that I do, though, have a MacBook Pro, I know that I will be able to take that with me on holiday or anywhere and use Mars Edit more. And, and I have been using it more because that I have been carrying around the MacBook Pro. But still, it is a limitation that there isn't an iOS and an iPadOS version. And that drove me to the website. And once you were on the website for when you did it for all. I mean, yeah, you can do all of this. You can do everything that Mars Edit does through writing directly on WordPress. Actually, I'm sure at one point I was using a WordPress app on my iPhone, but for whatever reason, it just it was WordPress. It was a bit rubbish. Now I stopped doing that as well. And I have used Drafts 5, but I managed to break that. Another story. And yeah, again, Mars Edit costs $60. I just think it's worth it. That's it for this edition of 58 Keys. I didn't intend to plug my self-destruct blog quite so much as I did, but since, you know, I've started, uh, it, it's called Self-Destruct. It's about writing broadly comes out uh, every friday morning at 8 a.m uk time and it's totally free. i'll pop up have a look it's in the link below okay now thanks for watching take care of yourself write more yourself blogs or anything get on with it and i'll see you soon